China and Taiwan. There's been a lot of rhetoric from the U.S. side and a lot of rhetoric from the Chinese side. Do you envision any real problem occurring where the Chinese might actually invade Taiwan? I think it remains a distinct threat uh, that there could be a military contingency around Taiwan. And uh, the People's Republic of China has actually stated as official policy that it is not taking the invasion of Taiwan off the table, that that remains one of the potential options for the reunification of Taiwan. Their position has been changing over time in terms of their disturbance of the status quo across the Taiwan Strait, actions that they are taking with their military to undermine peace and stability. The American position has remained steadfast and consistent. One China policy, the Taiwan Relations Act, three joint communiques that we agreed with China back in the 1970s and 80s that laid out uh, that from our perspective, there should be no unilateral changes to the status quo across the Taiwan Strait. We continue to believe that, and we will continue to push back against any effort uh, to change the status quo by force. Now, there is legislation now moving forth through Congress to kind of toughen up the existing uh, support the U.S. has for Taiwan. Has the administration adopted a position on that legislation yet? Well, I'm actually going to have the opportunity later today, literally later today, to go up to the Hill to talk to some members about this legislation. I'd prefer to have the opportunity to lay it out for them before I lay it out on TV. But I will just say this. There are elements of that legislation with respect to how we can strengthen our security assistance for Taiwan that are quite uh, effective and robust that will improve Taiwan's security. There are other elements that give us some concern.